Now, drones have become a very popular automation technology. They're essentially a robot that moves in three dimensions. We have underwater drones, which can move through the ocean underwater in three dimensions. But of course, we also have flying drones that can move around in three dimensions in the sky. But we program them in a similar way. So instead of just moving around on a plane, we can also program it to go up and down. And we can program it to do various tasks and to solve various problems, such as taking a package and dropping it at a particular location, or detecting when it's over something and taking a photograph. Um, and there are a range of different uh, problems and solutions that students can develop through the use of this particular technology. So think about how you could use drones in the teaching of digital technologies, the concepts that students can develop in terms of the um, content descriptors that students need to understand, and how you could utilize a fun, engaging technology, drones, in a way that helps students learn these concepts. Now, one of the challenges with drones, though, is that they do have particular regulations in how they can be used. Now, if you're using them indoors, these regulations don't apply. So apart from making sure things are done safely, you can do essentially whatever you want inside. But once you go outside, then uh, the Civil Aviation um, Authority, CASA, um, they have quite strict rules about how drones can be used. And indeed, there are many places where you can't use drones at all. Griffith University, um, generally we can't use drones because there are hospitals uh, within five kilometers. And if those hospitals have a helipad attached to them or uh, space in their car parks and so forth where helicopters can land, then it's a no-fly drone zone. So there are a whole range of different particular rules around the use of drones. The most significant one is you can't fly them within 30 meters of another person. Now, 30 meters is quite a big space in a, in a school environment. So having um, one drone you might be able to work with and you can fly it in an oval and have everyone on the outside of the oval and fly it around over the oval. But if you want to have multiple drones and have multiple students using them, spacing them all out 30 meters apart becomes logistically quite complex. So there are limitations on the use of drones outdoors. And there's a little activity to go through um, in terms of a quiz that will take you through some of the regulations around the use of drones. But drones are increasingly popular in schools. Lots of primary schools have drones now, and they are certainly a very effective technology in engaging students with digital technologies and with programming.